Hi, I'm Benjamin Bernstein with AstroShaman.com, and today's video is a new twist on my healing invocation. It, it, this is going to let you know how to eliminate disturbing thought forms from your field using this tool that I've been giving out for probably nine years now, and it's helped thousands of people clear unwanted energies or integrate them and turn them to light. Um, but it's been years and years since a variation has appeared on it, and it's only recently happened. I've tested it with a few clients. It works. So I'm now confident enough in the new variation that I'm happy to share it with you. Let me first tell you the basis of what the healing invocation even is, since I know not everyone watching this video will be familiar with it. Um, it's a simple technique. It's basically seven words long. It, is, it, it assumes that you have a higher self, which I know to be true for myself anyway. I believe it's true for everyone. And you basically delegate the healing you need to that part of you. And you just simply say to your higher self, maximum healing that serves highest good, please. And then you just rest your attention normally in wherever part of you that doesn't feel wonderful. Uh, it's uh, probably most often used for emotional challenges. And you would just feel where's the emotion, you place your attention right there. And uh, you hold the attention by simply witnessing and merging with that feeling and the higher self comes in and usually flushes out, usually takes that heavy energy out the hands or the feet or radiates it out into space. Either way, it tends to leave. It's also very effective for a lot of people with physical things. I just yesterday, I was working with a client who had had a, um, what is that, a defibrillator implanted in their chest and it had been there for a while and it really hurt because apparently it was very sore where they'd installed it. And I had him do the healing invocation in that area and within a few minutes there was no pain at all i mean this this pain he'd been having for weeks with this thing implanted in his chest all of a sudden he wasn't even feeling it so i've had many other clients had relief from chronic pain using this tool so so the way i've always taught it is um you get catalyzed something happens and there's a challenging emotion or there's a challenging sensation in your body somehow then you just say maximum healing that serves highest good please rest in the sensation of wherever the unpleasant energy is, not fighting it, just relaxing into it. The divine comes in to wherever you're focusing on, stirs it up, flushes it away, or integrates it. And it will only integrates it, of course, if it turns it to light and makes it positive energy that actually supports you. So that's how I've always given it. And and at the end, I'll give you a link on how to learn more about this. I'm not giving the whole all the details here, just the essence of the newness. I wanted to first, though, give you a sense of how it's always been used. The new variation was with a client recently, which I've been tested since and had other clients report back that it works, um, where this client was very, very mental and the thoughts, they were having trouble stilling the thoughts. This was during a shamanic healing session. And, and I was inspired to say, okay, uh, let's do the healing invocation and put it on the thoughts themselves. And I said, here's what I want you to do. Uh, I'd already explained to this woman that thoughts, we don't have thoughts. Thoughts have us. Um, when you go into embodied awakening, you realize that you are pure awareness. And uh, people who are doing this for the first time are amazed that they're sitting there in silence. I attest this. Okay, let's just be silent for a bit. And a, a significant period of silence goes by. And I said, during that silence, as you were resting in no effort at all, were there any thoughts at all? And they say, no, first time ever that's happened, right? But once you're embodied awake and it comes in, it doesn't do mental chatter. And if you're just resting in that, you're literally in a thought-free state, which is very peaceful and, and marvelous. You still can think if you need to, but all that staticky thought isn't there. So if you're in a, a period where you're having a lot of staticky thoughts, which uh, based on my experience with my clients over the years, it seems like anyone who is not at least in a state of basic embodied awake and has got a lot of mental chatter going on. It's just the nature of the unawakened state. Um, so if you want to start clearing that with this particular variation on the healing invocation, you would just say, you're aware, okay, I'll just all this scattery thought I'm being disturbed by. You say to your higher self, maximum healing that serves highest good, please. And then you watch the thought. Again, this is the significant shift after all these years of the way I've been doing this. Always it's been feel the emotion or feel the sensation in the body. Now it's become completely aware of the thinking. And it's as if you're in a two-story house and the thoughts are down there on the, uh, on the first level. You're up the stairs on the landing above this, the area and you're looking down on the thoughts, okay? 
and basically you just witness them. Now, in what this technique allows you to do is be the detached witness of the thought. In, in traditional spiritual paths, this is often described as if you're lost in thought, it's like you're in the river being swept downstream and it feels like there's nothing you can do about it. But um, their other metaphor would be you're sitting on the bank of the river watching the thoughts go by and you can pay attention to any particular thought you want, but you have choice about that, okay? Um, in this variation, with my healing invocation, you are witnessing the thought as if from above, and you are fully aware of the thought. You're like observing them as a detached observer. And when you do it in this way, you don't feed them because thought forms, I'll tell you a brief experience I had in an ayahuasca ceremony that really taught this to me years ago. Um, for a bit in the ceremony, ayahuasca showed me that every time I had a thought, I would see a little wiggling protoplasmic being come out of my head and kind of go out into the room. And I understood that every time I had a thought, I was creating one of these beings or, or becoming aware of its all previous existence, perhaps. And its whole life was about, I need to make this thought physically real. So every thought form that is in your space is trying to become physically manifest in a sense. So, and Ayahuasca told me, although I wasn't speaking in this ceremony, she said, if you had said that thought, it would have been a hundred times more powerful. <laughs> so, so the, the idea is you are pure awareness. The earth is populated with a vast number of thought forms, all of them trying to find a human host so that they can, you know, kind of burrow in and gain energy and manifest what they're about. Okay. So they, they're very clever and they disguise themselves to make you think that you're thinking them, but they're really just guests who come in and populate the mental field. And we all have an ecosystem of thought forms, just like we all have bacteria in our gut. You know, you may already know that you have more, you know, bacteria in your gut than you have cells in your entire body because you need those bacteria in there in your intestines who partner with you to digest your food. You know, you're not just a separate human, you're integrated with all kinds of things. So just as you have bacteria in your, in your ecosystem, in your digestive system, you have this ecosystem of thought forms. And if you have some that are bothering you, here's the tool. You do that, what I said, you're observing the flow up. And what happens as you witness them is because you're no longer automatically feeding them like most people do, you're just witnessing them, they, they, they start to slow down and then they go still, and then they just sort of dissolve. So it's an amazing little tool. You can try it if you want, it's very easy to do. So next time you wanna try this, uh, and you have mental chatter going on that you would rather not be part of, you'd rather it quiet down. Um, again, the whole premise of my invocations is you delegate the work to your higher self. It does this kind of thing way better than your ego does. You just say to your higher self, maximum healing that serves highest good please put your attention on the thoughts themselves you are observing them from a higher level looking down on them and you just hold awareness of them again it's very important that you at the human level are not doing anything to try to stop them or fight them or negate them you are just the passive witness of the thought because you've already called your higher self to do the work for you Energy follows attention. You're, you've called for healing. You're putting your attention on the thoughts that are bothering you. And, and the higher self just dissolves them out. So that's the technique. Um, if you want to learn more about the healing invocation, and I haven't actually updated the post as I record this. This is July 1st, 2020, as I record this. Um, I got a lot on my plate, but I will eventually get around to doing an update on the words on the post, but I just wanted to put this video out and give the, the idea. If you'd like to read that post and learn more about the uses of the healing invocation beyond what I've said here, you can go to astroshaman.com. And on the menu bar, the last word of the menu bar is invocations. Click that or tap that, and it will take you to a preview page for two posts. The first post is my invocation for embodied awakening and use of invocations in general. I, I highly recommend you read that one too. But the second post that currently has an image of a crying woman is about the healing invocation. 
And you can read more about that, everything except about the thought forms, which I will add when I can. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, as always, I love your feedback on my videos and you're welcome to post some comments wherever you're seeing this. Um, really happy that you're here. And I'm also, by the way, open to ideas for new videos. I do these practical spirituality videos uh, twice a month currently. And if you have a topic you'd like me to address, please just uh, send me uh, info at, send me an email rather at info at astroshaman.com. And I would love to uh, entertain your suggestions. Uh, again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein with astroshaman.com. If you're interested in work with me personally, I do astrology and shamanic healing, awakening activation, life coaching. I've also got an awesome membership called Awakening Plus, where for a really tiny monthly fee, you can um, experience you know, over 240 um, recorded sessions. We do live sessions all the time as well that people can do even if they're not a member. Um, you can follow the link there in this video or just go to awakeningplus.com to learn more about that or to learn more about my private services, astroshaman.com. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you infinite blessings. And uh, thanks again for being here.